What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have some stuff to do on the Prelude. Things actually kind of changed and I'll explain what's going on with the Prelude and what I had planned to do with the F30 because of it. But first I will, yeah, let's go outside and I'll show you what's going on with the Prelude. F30 looking real nice as usual. So this is what's going on with the Prelude. Yeah, not cool guys, she's got a flat. This tire has been giving me issues since I bought the car. The other ones don't seem too bad, but this one definitely needs to go. I haven't actually been driving this car for the last almost a week now because of this tire situation and because I had ordered new wheels and I'm going to be ordering a full set of four tires here soon, I didn't really want to go and replace one tire and just waste the money on that one tire that I could wait and not drive the car and then just put towards the new tires. So what I had planned was to park this car for basically a month until the wheels are ready, just kind of work on stuff, get things maybe ready for paint or whatnot. Then I was going to basically go back to to stage one on the F30 because I was gonna be daily driving it I didn't really want to be you know hammering on it on the tune and stuff so for that month I was gonna go back to stage one while this thing sat and then once this thing was up and running on new wheels and be my new daily driver again <laughs> then I would put the car back to stage two and then we'd be good I actually was tipped off on a couple different tire shops so I called around and found a place that actually says they have one tire left in that size and it's like 45 bucks mountain balanced. So I thought I was gonna pay at least 45 for a used tire in that size that I could run for a month, but then I was gonna have to pay another 50 bucks or so to get it mounted and balanced. But with the whole cost being under 45 bucks, I think it's worth it just to go get the tire. And then I have this car to actually drive in, so I'm not putting as many miles on this and using it actually as more of a show car. I know that front tire is bad. I just wanna go ahead and jack the car up and check the other three tires. That way I don't end up in the same situation with the front tire and then end up buying more tires because if I look right now and all the rest of the tires are just as bad, then the car's gonna sit and we're gonna go with the plan to drop that back to stage one. Let's jack this thing up, see what these look like. I know I need to take that front one off, so we'll do that to get started. Two hours later. First problem. I forgot that the car needs to be on wood blocks to get it up on the actual jack stand So I got to try and roll this flat tire up onto a wood block and then we'll try and get it jacked up and then take the wheel off Guess that height is with the block under it. Holy crap, this thing is so flat. I'm gonna try and pump it up real quick so I can get this jack underneath it. So I just checked the rears because I realized doing the rears first would be a lot easier than doing the fronts and then the rears. So rears seem to be okay. They don't look as bad as the front one does. So I think I should be good just to replace the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off now, but check this out. I reinstalled this fake hubcap thing like so tight last time and I can't undo it, but thanks to my oil wrench. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I can't do this with one hand. Just pop her on there. Quick little squeeze and twist. Oh. It's not perfect science, but it works. Getting this jack under is sweet. Just gotta like push the, uh, the old handle right under the lip. There we go. Just got the tire off. This thing's rusty right now. Look at this blue spray paint. I gotta go through with a wire brush and clean up like all of this because someone just spray painted everything blue. But let me show you guys the tire because it's not good. So here's the front side of the wheel and tire. You know, not too bad. Some like corrosion right here. The back is the worst part. Check this out. Look at this. Yo. Ill wrinkles and like that's pretty much dry rot all the way around and then you can tell this whole like sidewall is totally bare now like all the letters have been ripped off the um yeah I mean 
mean, this is just no good. And I don't know if you can tell from a certain angle, but <laughs> let me see if I can show you guys. Maybe you can see it from here. So this is the back side. So like right there, there's a fat bubble. There's like so many bubbles. This entire inside of this tire is just like multiple layers. Like <laughs> it's so bad. So I gotta go put this in the Beamer and bring this to go get replaced. We've got the tire in the trunk, so I'm gonna go head over to Tenere's Tire Service in Lowell, no, Lawrence, Lawrence. Hopefully they still have that tire for me and we can get this replaced, and then we'll come back here and put this on, but I will see you guys when we get to Tenere's. Tenere's, it's like right, move truck. <laughs> it's like right back there. This is like a wicked busy spot, so I'm probably not gonna bring you guys along just for simplicity's sake. I gotta like carry the tire across this busy street and stuff. So I will see you guys after I get the new tire. Two hours later. Funny enough, yes, the tire was bad, but two, the rim is cracked. And I'll put a picture of that in like right now. No good, no good at all. So they actually hooked me up with a brand new tire. They didn't have the used one in stock, so it cost me a little bit more than I expected. 60 bucks mounted and balanced, not too bad. And now I can at least drive the Prelude for the next month, and uh, I figure basically like two tanks of gas, so should be good. Now uh, to head home and go put the wheel back on. What a sad sight. <laughs> Soon you'll be on the ground. Okay, back home now. Gonna get the tire out of the trunk. They actually, I forget if I said this earlier, but they actually sold the tire that I needed in the size that mimics all the other three tires on the Prelude right now. So I called them at like noon and I went in. It's now, I went in there at like two o'clock and they had already sold the one tire in that size they had left. So they actually put on a different one. And to be honest, I'm not even sure what size that is. Let's go check. All right, so they actually put on a 205-45, so I think that means it just has a little bit bigger, taller, wide uh, sidewall. So, I mean, it should get us there for the next few weeks. Let's go ahead and put this back on the Prelude. Okay, wow, that's a much wider tire. I have like next to no clearance there, so definitely gonna be rubbing a little bit. So that's like the 205 45 17. You can see how pretty much, oh, well, not flush, but it's pretty flush with definitely the wheel, like the tire comes over the wheel. Whereas this side, you can see the tire doesn't even come out to the full edge of the wheel, so definitely a wild fitment going on here i'm gonna run this tire for the next like three weeks i guess four weeks five weeks hopefully less i'm gonna be ordering new tires for the new wheels here very soon but if you guys have any suggestions on tires i'm not looking to run any crazy stretch you know like a little bit a little more than obviously what i have now but just nothing too crazy so i'm looking at like the federal 595s and a couple other tires but if you have any recommendations that you've had really good luck with put it down in the comments below i'd really appreciate it i just didn't anticipate that going the way it did. Like I said, I wanted to go stage one on the F30 and just daily that for the next month. But hey, we gotta use a brand new tire actually. Prelude's gonna be in the game for the next month until the wheels get here. So I'm gonna go head out mountain bike with Ryan, but I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Peace. Just kidding guys, actually check this out. There is no room there. I'm gonna have to raise up the prelude. Damn it. Man, what shitty timing. Like, I'm just so close to getting the new wheels and the new fitment. I have to do all this work and spend this money to, like, just be able to drive it for a few weeks. Damn. Second guessing this. Maybe I should have just parked it for a month. But, well, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs> Always try to get